Hi guys, it's Big Al and welcome back to Big Al Sports World. And we're back here with the non-league, the Premier League save with Kirsten Ashton. And as you can see, we're away against Loose Loftus today. And if you look at the league table, we're both in 39 points. But our dramatic goal difference is what is keeping us well above low stuff. Now, transfer window is open. And we have already lost one of our better players but we'll look at that in a wee second where we'll go back here to the uh, good old uh, schedule had to think and you guys were with us for which game were you with us for yeah we've done that one uh, it was Alferton yes it was a 1-0 loss to Alferton but we then came out and beat SC United 4-0 we then knocked uh, Lowstoff, the team we're about to play, 3 1 um, in the FA Trophy. Now, as you can see, they got a player sent off in 20, it was, wasn't the first minute, it was 25 seconds into the game. But if you look there, you can see that they also broke Ivor Lawton's foot, broke David Doss' ankle, and left Jordan Greenwich out cold and he was out he's out for two to three weeks I believe David Off and Lawton are out for at least four months so that's not so good because they're two of our key players and our backup key players so we're losing quite we lost quite a few players then we went out and drew one each against second in the table Stockport County who last season we knocked out of the playoff spot as you were aware so I knocked them out of the playoffs to get to the next round of it and then get knocked out ourselves well we only managed to draw with them as you can see right in the stroke of half time it was literally the last kick of the half Alex O'Neill with that equaliser and again we ended up with injuries to our strike force Luke Loss and Leon Best both coming up Loss went off injured Best replaced them and within 10 minutes Best was coming off injured as well excuse me why I take a drink so we're up against Luke Loss today uh, duh, 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 duh. So I can't remember what all these icons are. So we have not let's not look at that. Uh release players. We released Tom Herdman, Daniel Jones, and Jason Gilchrist, because none of them have played for us this season. So there was no point of having them. Yes, this looks massive, but it's really not. Uh we just lost our centre back, uh George Brady, for twelve grand in total to Paris FC. He wanted to leave, so we gave him we had no choice but to sell him. But we did get Phil Bardsley and James Perch on free transfers. Uh, right, both right backs, both experienced. We'll have a quick look at them here on this transfer. One, there's Phil Bardsley. Everyone knows him, the ex-Manchester United youngster, and Sunderland, Stoke, and Burnley. So he's played in the Premier League. He was a free transfer, and he's agreed to come to us, which is impressive. James Perch. The ex Newcastle man is also in, but the good news is Perch can play anywhere across the back, which is a bonus for us. So, as you can see, Forrest, Newcastle, Wigan, Coventry, he's just been going down the divisions as the years have been going on, poor lad. And you can see the most exciting news that we have Raquel Pike, who we had on loan. We have managed to sign him for 32k. He had requested to leave Huddersfield. And they accepted, well, they had, it was valued at 60k, but they only wanted 32. So we brought him in for 32k, and what a transfer he is going to hopefully be. Because he scored, seven, what, 22 goals in 17 games? And obviously we have other players that could be leaving. Jacobs has bids in for him, etc. So we have quite a few players. This team could be looking a lot different by the end of this transfer window because I can't stop them from leaving as soon as I reject a contract they throw a hissy fit and the whole squad get against me so the next transfer bit I have to accept unfortunately just to try and keep some happiness in the squad so this is going to be our team for this game we got Rosario and goals a backline of Adu, Booker, Chalk and Bardsley obviously Booker was normally playing right back so Bardsley's come in we lost Brady so Booker's dropped in the centre back which is fine because he can play there. Pardon me, Jesus, Alan. Well, and across the midfield, we have Jacobs, who could be playing his last ever game for the club. 
Uh, D. Almeida's come in as a ball winning midfielder with Kenny in the attacking midfield role with Chambers on the right. Up front, we have Pike and Lofts because obviously Lofts is back from injury. On the bench, we've got James Perch, uh, Harbert, Adamson, Kinsella, and young Will Miller. I don't know if you've seen Will Miller, the youngster. He's 23 and he looks okay. He looks okay. He has yet to play for us this season, I don't think. Has he played in the league? He has. He's played one game or one substitute appearance. So, he's come off the bench to do something. And he started one game. Don't remember when. It must have been really early on when we weren't on a really good run. So, fingers crossed. This is the team that's going to take on low stuff. And hopefully we can get three points out of this. Fingers crossed. And then we'll see what happens in the rest of January transfer window. Because you guys are going to be coming back after January transfer window has ended. And we will then tell you all the business that we have done. So let's get in the dressing room and get this kicked off. Yes, assistant, you deal with that. Thanks very much. Who will be in the next game? Kidderminster Harriets, the team at the top of the division. One of a team that we absolutely spanked early on in the season. But it'll be interesting to see how Lustoff play today after we beat them in the cup and they entered three of our players. They are pretty much playing the same team that played against us as well. So Chalk with a free kick, pumped it down the line, Lost is not even attempting to get there. Almeida wins it back, Jacobs, he finds Kenny, Kenny, oh! That would have been the perfect start for us. That would have been the perfect start. Bardsley in the loss. Who finds Almeida. Almeida back to Chambers. Down the line. Can Luke Loss get there? Oh, Keith's going to get there first. I don't think Loss is 100% to be fair. And he pumps it forward and finds their dangerous striker. And there's their second dangerous striker. Now, we are trying to sign in a striker as well. Um, but Shrewsbury have just put a bit in for him. So, he might end up at Shrewsbury. But Raquel Pike's in. Can he finish? Oh, it would have been a nice way to start him off as a full-time player for the Nash. Would be with a goal rather than a low knee from Huddersfield. So we're 15 minutes in. And oh, it's been all of us, basically. Uh, Possession-wise, though, they're doing better. But we have had all the chances. Oh, great play by Almeida. That's what I brought him in for. He's a perfect replacement for Lawton, let's be fair. Pike again. Oh, that dude's laying in and Lofts was away. Lofts did score in his return, by the way, to the first team, which was nice to see in his last game before he got injured. But can he stay fit? Because remember, he was prolific until he got injured last season. And then that was him finished with. Yes, we will make those changes. I'm sick of shooting from long range. It drives me mad the amount of long range shots we have. But both our strikers are looking pretty poor today. Loss is not looking fit. His fitness is dropping rapidly here. Young Miller might get a start yet. Loss is younger than Miller, of course. But I like Loss because I know he can score goals. Miller, I'm not sure of. Oh, shock and defend him by the youngster chalk. And that's not who you want running through in your goals. But he's not exactly fit himself for loose stuff, Mr. Roberts. And they're starting to come back into this game as it well is on to half time here. And it's not looking so great. Not exactly the first half I was expecting. 6.3s for my strikers as well. Absolutely diabolical. Um, and as usual, my mouse, my mouse is battery dying. I haven't got any spare batteries. Uh, aggressive. I'm far from pleased from what I just saw. Pike's looking f good. I'm actually going to take uh, Lofties off. <sighs> mouse. My mouse is dying. I'm going to have to go and get my USB mouse and plug it in. Look at that. It's just frozen again. Right. Can you now behave? Hello, mouse. Sorry, guys. My mouse. Now you're starting to irritate me. Let's switch it off and back on. So I got a wireless mouse and keyboard. But unfortunately, I think the bat the battery is definitely dying inside this um, mouse. 
as you can clearly see Now I'm going to lose my patience because the alarm mouse is upstairs on my son's gaming PC that I built for him. Uh, will that be our only change? I could bring Adamson on for Kenny, but no, Kenny's a dangerous man whenever he gets going. That'll do for half time. They know what I expect. Miller's on now. Let's see if we can uh, push forward. Straight from kickoff. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, Miller's has got the space. He finds young Miller who will look for Chambers, hopefully. Down that left hand, down that right hand side, sorry. Chambers, what the feckery was that? Absolutely terrible fair here. I'm highly disappointed in our team. Looks like it could be another draw. Looks like we're going to be playing for playoffs this season. But now i got Raquel Pike in full time. I'm hoping that means we can be more of a threat this time round. Again, Chalk misses that header. Harbour's sitting on the bench. He's desperate to get on. Piked down to Jacobs on possibly his last ever game. And that was an unlucky ball. Young Miller couldn't get on the end of it. And if he makes the mistake this time, that's okay. He's about to say he'd be coming off. I do in the Almeida. Down the line to Jacobs. Beautiful ball in. Pike's not going to get there. And O'Keefe wraps it up. And easy for a do. Back to Almeida now. Almeida. Beautiful ball in the pipe. Can he find Miller? He does Will Miller! What his first ever goal for the Nash! And young Will Miller is off the mark! As well as the Nash are off the mark in this game. Oh, came from the clearance. A do the Almeida. Almeida laid it in the pike. Pike on his full-time contract with the club, plays in the young, young Miller, and young Miller with a thumping goal. This is what I'm talking about. We need strikers and score goals, and that's exactly what we are getting right there. Even though he was uh, from our youth academy. <laughs> Didn't say that he was from our youth academy. But that's what we want. A lot of our players are young. Chambers, is, I think, our, Chambers and Bardsley are our oldest players in the pitch. I think uh, we've got an average squad of 24 and I'll, some of them are only 16 most of them are 21, 22 but it's the likes of Chalk who's like 15, 16 and that Pike I think is only 19 himself 19 or 20 so oh too easy but Rosario he's been unbelievable since he came back from uh, injury saved a penalty in our last game to keep it as a 1-1 draw and oh, some of the saves he pulled off in that game was amazing. Right, Chuck's coming off. Yo, substitution. Chuck off. I'm going to bring Harbert on. Even though he's not exactly the happiest person in the game. And that will do. He wants first team football. Well, this is the only way he's going to get it. Because with Chuck and Booker playing so well. Although Chalk's starting to slack, so I might start playing Harbert instead of Chalk, because Harbert and Booker already have a good partnership from last from the end of last season. So I might continue doing that. Kenny, oh Raquel Pike, will he score? Oh Raquel Pike can't score it. Oh, I want him to score his first goal as a full time player for us, and it's just not happening. Kenny with the corner. Beautiful corner towards Jacobs. Kenny picks it back up. Whips it there. Booker Almeida. Oh, brilliant save again. And Almeida with a fantastic effort. And Kenny whips it in again. Oh, dangerous towards that front post and Jacobs. Oh. Well, Chester and I top of the division. Whoa, where have they come from? They were down with us a few games ago. It's amazing what happens if you can still win games and not draw them. Where we were drawn and we dropped points and... Oh, we're what? Ten, nine points behind Chester now? We need to finish in the top three, by the way. Um, for the, if we're going to be in the playoffs. So we don't have to play that extra game against either Stockport, Boston or Lowestoft at the minute. Um, ideally, that's where I would like us to finish. And Lewis is third. But we need to keep on winning and we need to beat teams like Lowestoft and stop losing to teams lower down the division but Rosario 
is on fire. A gock it could be gone. Uh, we've had three bids in so far, none of which has matched his valuation, so I've rejected them. But he could be going. But we got Wilston on this reserve, so we brought in like last season, beginning of last season, after we sold Burl. So we do have him as an option. Miller, oh, Miller couldn't res respond to Pike the same way Pike he did for him earlier on in the game. Oh, what a challenge by Harbert. See what I mean? And Jacobs again, poor ball. It looks like Jacobs is going anyway, so it's probably the last time we're going to see Jacobs play for us, the 17 year old winger. I can't stop him from going to bigger clubs. Oh, and Rosario again, what a save. Gabriel Rosario. But yeah, four minutes, one minute left. This is probably like the last chance to zoom. Booker clears it out. Pike holds it up. Oh, he's played it behind Jacobs. Jacobs, what are you going to do with it? Just pump it. Oh, poor pass. But Harbert's there and Pike. He finds Miller. Will Miller find Pike? Yes, he can. Pike, can he sprint in? Can Kenny end it? Yes, he can. It's 2 0 in the Nash. Kenny with a ballistic goal. Counter attack football at his best. Low stop were tore apart. All came from the centre back harbour, intercepting the pass. Pike in the Miller, back to Pike. Beautiful turn, and what a ball for the attacking midfielder Kenny. And that's what we were missing whenever he got injured. He was doing that prior to the injury. And Kenny with a beautiful finish. Although I think Kenny's better with lost him beside him than Almeida, but it's still a perfect swap. Oh. It's just glorious, and Allison is a perfect swap for Kenny, so we kind of got our midfield sorted this season. As long as we can keep them, because Allison wants to move to a bigger club, so we might have to find someone else. But there it is, the Nash 2, low stuff nil, and that's more like it. More like it, we are, what, 7 points off that 3rd place spot in the league, and that's what I'm aiming for. Yes, go ahead and tell them. Well guys, Thank you very much for coming and joining us for this lovely 2-0 victory over Lowstaff. Two, two victories in a row over them, which is a fantastic way to play. Um, it will be good to see you in the next one. Hopefully all transfers will be done and hopefully not too many of our first team players leave us because we're trying to keep the first team playing every game. So guys, if you've enjoyed this one, hit that thumbs up like button and obviously if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our content and leave any comments in the comment section. Cheers guys, have a good one, all the best.